Welcome back to the show. I sit in the studio with Dina Safiya. Dina Safi, um, a fundraiser for Lagia for Beacon of Hope for Afghan Children Society. Welcome to the studio. Thank you so much, Anita. Thank you so much to the Harpreet Singh Show. Uh, we've been here every year. A very good supporter of, of a supporter of our organization and the work we do. Great. Thank you for having me. Um, so, Dina, does he send us back there? What exactly? What is it that exactly that you do? Uh, in Beacon of Hope, um, Beacon of Hope uh, for Afghan Ch Children's Society, a non-profit hai, charitable organization, mm -hmm. which we formed here in Vancouver, mein Surrey, mein form kia about nine years ago. Okay. Uh, we're a fully um, uh, charitable society. Mm -hmm. uh, we're registered, so we uh, donations uh, humko, uh, log dete hai. we can always give tax receipts for that. Okay. Um, ये जो चैरिटी है हमारा काम जो है बच्चों के अफगानिस्तान के बच्चों के लिए काम करते हैं सो मेनली हम एजुकेशन की फील्ड में और हेल्थ केयर की फील्ड में काम करते हैं काफी सारे प्रोग्राम्स हैं छोटे प्रोग्राम्स बट हमारे जो मेन प्रोग्राम है एजुकेशन और हेल्थ केयर के बेसिकली टुवर्ड्स एजुकेशन हेल्थ केयर मेनली वी वर्क so, you can see education, the fundraise, so you can see the money that you can do with education. What do you do with that money? As we have probably known some of our viewers, what do we do? We focus on different projects. This year, our main focus is to build a girls' school. Afghanistan's little Kabul is a district called Beizadi and in that district which is a little bit of Kabul is a distance so Kabul is the main city and a lot of the help from different organizations go directly in Kabul in the area of area there is no more help so we have to build a school for girls Khulre, jo basically it's going to be fully. We have done all the groundwork for it, so it's fully approved land or curriculum. Jo Ministry of Education say approve why. So this year, that's our main goal to get that school going, to get it organized. Because waha pe jo chalis sirf chalis percent ke larkiya Afghanistan mein abhi school attend kar rahe hain. So there's a huge gap. Only forty percent. Wow. Exactly. So what's the future of that country gonna look like, right? Yes. If we don't send our girls to school. And that's the thing. Jere bachiya, they are the next generation. They are the future of our economy. Absolutely. Um. So Dina, tosi sanu das lag raha. This is an amazing project. Yeah. Jere tosi you're taking part in. Um. Tosi he. How did you get involved? Um, I moved to this country about uh, uh, 15, 16 years ago. I was in India before, so I was speaking Hindi and Urdu, a little bit of Punjabi. So when I uh, left Afghanistan, when I Afghanistan managed for the year, I was 10 years old. Um, I had okay. already experienced war. Just uh, oh, in school, okay. mein, you know, uh, I had already s experienced a civil war. Kafi logo ko pata shayad nahi hoga ki Afghanistan has been in war for many, many years. No, many years of war in Afghanistan, and um, you know, um, right now it's it's a little bit on the global map, but previously nobody even had heard of that country, and mm -hmm. it's very close to India. Hum neighbors hai, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and there is there used to be a huge Sikh population in Afghanistan, and they were my very good friends. Nice. There is a lot of Sikh Afghans too that you know might not be aware of. Um, no, I, that's a topic for another day. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. so m when I came back here and uh, I went back to Afghanistan for a visit, uh, it was just my heart was completely broken. And when I came back, and similarly, you know, you go back to your roots, so. Me and a few of other friends, uh, we decided to just do something, even if it's small, just start something. So, but nine years ago, we just sat down and we started fundraising, we started ideas, 
and next thing we register a charity and now we have done some amazing work mm -hmm. uh, we've just been persistently consistently going at it um, last year hum um, hospital ke Ch indira gandhi children's hospital uh, may renovations kiya humne uh, recovery rooms ka uh, we got them anesthesia machines oh, nice. uh, we've done a lot of work in the hospital we give them supplies for what they need we actually mm -hmm. go there do our research we ask them what they need and then we go there once a year and and uh, execute our project i think that's important jado asi fundraising karde ha aur jaise paise ikatthe karde ha we research karke bhi ki lod ya what exactly. is the need because exactly. ab paise ikatthe kar sakde ha okay khane nu chahiye ha of course but did he actually need ya the root so like example jada tusi school kar lagge ha i think that's amazing because we need to the next generation educate them same Absolutely. with the hospital right i just want to take a moment and uh, tell your viewers and everybody about our fundraising event that's coming up mm -hmm. on may 31st um it's our ninth annual benefit dinner mm -hmm. uh that we are hosting in Burnaby and it's uh, uh in Royal Diamond Palace Hall the tickets are only $25 and i uh would you know really encourage um people to come out and see what we're doing um no I it's mean, amazing work that you guys are doing yeah. so um definitely uh sade hum hum aake pahunchyo march or may 31st may 31st uh, uh all the information is also on our website www.beaconofhopesociety.org and uh tickets are $25 we have a uh, one of our very talented singers by the name of Mojda she's going to be coming and singing and she's also going to be speaking about her experiences in Afghanistan. Okay, we'll give them a link of all the information. Um but thank you for coming, Dina. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. We look forward to your event. We look forward to seeing you guys there too. Thank you. Thank you.